So I'm going to share my experience with you of what it feels like to be a mature student in post-secondary education. So I think some people want to go back to school or they're already going to, and they're curious to if they can make friends or how people will act towards them being older or considerably older. So I'll share my experience. I do have to say it'll probably depend a little bit to, on how big of an age gap it is. For example, I was 25 in my first year and everyone else is like 18, 19, 20. So realistically, in my case, I probably don't actually look much older than them. But as soon as like I speak to any of them, that's when you can kind of see like that I'm older because I don't use slang much. Like if I use any at all, it's not the slang that they use. For example, all my friends are also like master students or last year of their undergrad students, so they're all closer to my age as well. Um, you can still make friends like in the clubs and whatnot, like you'll meet people. And the good thing about that is like if you go to the club, you'll know that like the people there have a somewhat similar interest to you, so you can like speak to them and make friends with them. I'm just taking a guess, like from looking at his face and like talking to him, it seemed like he was in his 30s or so. And I feel like he was able to speak to other people in that club and have friends just fine. At the end of the day, I know, I think it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. And every school has different people and everyone will treat each other differently. But in my experience, nobody really cares. So one thing I did have happen was I was like, walking and like one person thought um like i was a teacher instead of a student because like i was just dressed nicely that day i was wearing a dress shirt and that made me look more like a professor than a student so that is one thing i've noticed because of my age this is like a very specific and weird thing that happened that realistically probably won't happen to most people i was like in the cafeteria and one guy who I feel like he was like just looking for trouble or something. Like he just came up to me and he was like looking for something in the school. He didn't even go to the school, which he told me. And then like he just started asking me personal questions. And then like he eventually just said like, how old are you? You don't look like a student here. So that was kind of weird, but that dude, that, that guy himself was already kind of a weird dude. So I guess that was one negative experience I had as a mature student. But realistically, I think that's more just because I was sitting alone. So can you make friends as a mature student? Yeah, I have a few friends that I've made at school. I could probably have more if I went to more clubs and I went more often. But I usually meet my friends like at least once or twice a month. It really depends on how busy we all are. But you can definitely make friends as a mature student. And again, every school will be different, but I've seen plenty of mature students, at least one or two in pretty much every one of my mandatory classes. In elective classes, there may be less. For those mature students that I saw, you could definitely tell that they were older, like some of them were like in their 30s. One guy said he was in his 40s. And I think that when I was in a group with them, it was good, actually, because I felt more comfortable around them, not necessarily because Maybe I'm closer, well actually, I'm closer to the younger people's age in comparison to them. But I liked being in their group because I knew that they would be more responsible and that they would be more inclined to do their part of the work and they would actually always get their work done, which is something that I did appreciate. And it was always high quality when I saw it. Whenever I would get put into a group project though I would always be the leader it just kind of went that way because of my life experience and because I waited a while before going back to school and I knew that like school is important to me now and I actually want to do it because of this like I just instinctively take the leadership role like most people don't really step up to the extra responsibility for no real extra grade you know so it's kind of just something that happens for me, that's just something that I noticed. Whenever I'd be in a group project, the older person usually always tends to just take that role anyway. 
If you're worried about how you think people are going to treat you, I would say that it really depends, but generally my experience has been positive, and I think that coming back to school later is probably better than just going straight into it right after high school, if you haven't decided what you want to do already, because you got time to get experience, and you have a lot of time to think about what you want to do and what you want your life to look like. So because of this, when you're actually at school, you'll feel more confident as well. And you're going to be more interested in learning more in my experience. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful or reassuring. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Have a nice day. Bye bye.